Welcome back guys 512 and we are looking out toward a very foggy start to the day in downtown Spokane areas of eastern Washington and uh, the lower Columbia Basin reporting some pretty limited visibility as we wake up this morning. So not a surprise as you head out the door. If it's not one thing, it is the other around here. So although this morning we're seeing a clearing of the skies in terms of that rain and snow, uh, the rain and snow actually does a lot to prevent the formation of those low level clouds. Hence why over the last few days when we've been seeing the rain and snow, we haven't been waking up to the morning fog. But now as we see those rain showers clear out of the last hour, we are waking up to some of that fog. So over toward uh, most of North Idaho, we're not seeing the fog, but we are seeing the rain and a little bit of snow. Temperatures look to be sustaining a lot more rain than snow since we're in the upper 30s and in some areas even the 40s. Wind speeds have calmed down compared to yesterday. We are not seeing double digit wind speeds. We've got seven mile per hour winds in Omac, five in Moses Lake and seven in Ritzville as well. Again, that look outside shows you what we have uh, in store for likely the coming hours. It's not going to change until we I'd say get to maybe your afternoon time. That's usually when we start to see uh, most of that fog burn out. But since it is the winter time, it takes a little bit longer for the sun to come out. We've got a lower angle of the sun. We don't really see it burn out to its full capacity. Uh, as far as temperatures go, though, that warm front has really continued to push in. One thing that we usually note is as we get towards your evening hours, we see those temperatures drop down and then in the early morning hours, we see them rise again. Not quite the situation just past midnight. We saw that real jump in temperatures from 34 to 38 degrees, even 39 degrees. So now we're hanging out in the upper 30s as this warm front continues to reach its full capacity. We're going to make our way to the 40s as the rest of the day goes on. Couple stray showers passing through central Washington. They have a good chance of popping up in the Spokane region, maybe here and there for uh, a couple minutes or so, but we're not looking at any major widespread uh, downpour between today and tomorrow. Here's what we got as of uh, 10 a.m. We got a lot of those showers continuing to linger throughout North Idaho. They'll clear out pretty quickly. By 3.30, we're seeing almost nothing on here. A couple showers uh, just east of Coeur d'Alene, and those are going to clear out as well, making way for a beautiful Friday. Here's what we got as we wake up You're on your Friday morning, continuing on into your afternoon. Uh, just partly cloudy skies, if not sunny skies on the way. A couple things to note on the seven day. We got above average temperatures today and tomorrow. We're sticking to the 40s where we would normally be just around that freezing point in the 30s. We're going to cool down a bit going towards your weekend, but take a look at those temperatures. We don't really see much of a cool down. Temperatures are going to only make their way to the upper 30s. Monday looks to be the coldest day of the next seven days, but after the showers that clear out today, we're not looking at really any wet weather for the next seven days. So it looks like we are going to be starting kind of a prolonged dry streak after today. Back I hear you guys. groans from students saying, oh, yeah, right? no more two hour delays. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well.